I am here at American Audio with my friend Tom Fred. How are you today, sir? I'm good. How are you, Brian? I'm good, and it's day four of NAM, and we're It is, done. and I can still speak, and it's almost the end of the show. It's I can't amazing. believe it. It's amazing. So, we're I still guess here. because a lot of our products speak for themselves. We're still, but I'm done. <laughs> there you go. What do you got for us today, Tom? Uh, we got the VMS 5.0. So, All right. I'm going to talk a little bit about the story, legacy, and the history of the richness of this product. And then me and Jose are going to talk about it a little bit. All right. I don't know how many people know Jose. Hopefully a lot. All right. Who are this guy? He's, he's everywhere. Yes. The world's most interesting DJ. Oh, yes. yes. But today I'm wearing my glasses. So, it's okay. I like the glasses, too. Yeah. So the VMS-4 was the original one about five years ago. It right. started the whole four-deck mixing revolution. It was the first four-deck controller on the market at the time. It also had a lot of other firsts. The first controller with two microphone inputs. Right. Um, and it's funny because a lot of people still don't know what a powerful tool this is. This has a standalone six-channel mixer. You have four cha main channels and two yeah. microphone channels with three-band EQ. Right. Um, you have you can actually disable all the EQs on here if you want to use them for something else. Have a map for something else. Um, the knobs on the EQ are actually MIDI mappable as well. Right. I have some friends who use Tractor and they use it for filters and effects because they, they're EDM guys and they're never going to talk on the mic, which is totally cool. They're, right. they're so into their music and spe they're speechless, right. which is cool. And then this is a standalone mixer, which a lot of manufacturers are still trying to do or only do on their high-end models. Also, this has a user-configurable sound card at the flip of a switch. You can be 4x4, four four, like I feel like whipping out my turntables, my 1200s, right. doing a little DBS action, going old school. Or I want to do four deck mixing, so I just flip it over to eight by two. So extremely powerful mixer section on here. Um, also XLR outs, XLR quarter inch combination, right. microphone inputs. A lot of people are still using quarter inch and one XLR, one quarter inch and all that. We go uh -huh. pro all the way through. Um, one of the neat things on the BMS-5, I'll start to go over a few of the changes. Sure. On the previous generations, all the knobs were red. Now we have different colors. I think we're still the only ones to use these type of backlit knobs. Right. We think it makes a lot of sense. I think sense. it looks really nice. Yeah, and then we took out the mouse pad and we've added a four function browser, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. And Tom, I will just interrupt you right there and tell you that that's very smart. I really like the browser uh, knob. It's just like what you had on the BMS-2, right? Uh, yeah, same browser and on the uh, MXR series controllers as well. All right, cool. So, and then we have larger bladders as well. A lot of people are going smaller bladders uh, in this space, and we're going larger platter. So, and then one thing cool I always like to point out, a lot of the, every other company pretty much copied this at some point or another, and some even use this form on the corners. On this one, a lot of people don't realize this is an all steel unit. These actually were designed with the purpose where if I were to drop my unit, um, it would protect all the knobs. With the rubber corners. Right? Yeah, with the rubber corners and all the switches in the back, all the uh, IOs in the back are protected because these are actually industrial strength rubber corners. Nice. Yeah, and our controller was the very first one to be innovative compatible as well. We kind of started before people knew much about a wonderful, wonderful right. innovator. So let me kind of walk through some of the other things that we have going on. We partnered, we've always partnered with Virtual DJ. Um, this is using a brand new version of Virtual DJ 8 custom right. made for us. So you're going to get a 32-bit sound engine in the software. What that means to you is it's going to sound a lot better. The effects are going to sound a lot better. It's going to be really, really clear. Um, we have our sampling right here, our hot starts right here. We have a, a effects control uh, with two knobs, uh, looping where you can size it, shape it, do all that, filter controls, um, your vinyl on off as well. Also switching decks from A to B is a lot easier now than on previous generations. Um, and then this is the browser section. I don't know if you can pan over here a little bit, Brian. Sure I can. I just need to make sure your mouth is still close to the microphone. Yeah, so I hear you. So you can see this little arrow up right there is lit up, and that means we're in this regular browse function. Right. We're not going to reach over okay. here. We are yeah, doing like Twister sure. video right now. Oh, um, there you go. And this is for loading my song. Super easy. Now what's cool is if I hit the down button and you see that light up, this whole section changes. This has unlimited samples. We hardly have any loaded in there. But I can scroll through my sample banks and control the volume of my samples right from here. Cool. Now Jose was mixing video. This is really cool. On this version of LE, you can mix video right out of the box. The only thing is you'll have the virtual DJ logo on the screen. Oh. If you want to get okay. rid of that, you have to go upgrade the pro. Version. Yeah, but this, I can we can just like we're doing at this show. I'm going out yeah. of my computer to a video screen. Right on. Now the browser. That's just the LE version we're running right now. Yep. And wow. what's cool is so now 
I'm gonna hit this arrow. Now I can go through my video effects right on here using my same browser. I'm gonna hit it, now this other arrow lights up, and I go through my transition effects right here as well without ever having to touch my key, my computer. Nice. Which is, and the faders are tied in. It's pretty crazy. Now this stuff, since you're looking at the screen, it's really cool. And this is all LE. I have side lists, I can set up playlists. I have auto mix, and I can actually set that up. And this is something Jose loves to do. I have karaoke. karaoke. So I have nice. my karaoke files in there. Play them on deck two, have the video up on the screen. Nice. Again, I'll have the virtual DJ logo, but the software's so wonderful. Right. Who doesn't want to promote it 24-7? Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. So, but I can do, mine. Yeah. yeah, karaoke, video, uh, side lists, better sound engine, updated hardware. We're really excited about this. And what I found very interesting is this little thing right here, the cues as Apple, I can go back and forth. I discovered that. Uh, I didn't know I had that until I was playing with it. Yeah. And it's really fun because I do both. Uh, I, I'll record a sample and loop it out, or I could just uh, create a cue in different parts of the song. Right, so that was a real helpful. Well, one thing that's neat too, and you might have noticed it on here when we were in the sample mode, you can actually take whole songs and drag them yeah. onto a sample pad. So I can take a song, oh, right. drag it, and have a ton of songs yeah. on sample pads. Yeah, right. just be triggering. In case. Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, that's how I do my Disco Joe show. I'll have a sampler loaded with all the songs that I'm going to do for the show, and then just hit a trigger, and I can go ahead and uh, do the show. Like the Cha-Cha Slide, the, the YMCA, and stuff like that. Right, the, the, the typical stuff. So whether you're EDM, karaoke, wedding DJ, uh, DBS DJ, yeah. you either turntables. BMS 5.0 has you covered. So it's brand new. Gotcha. From American Audio Street Price, it'll be under $400. We're keeping it affordable like always. Compares to controllers that cost three, four, five times more. And we're shooting to be available midway through February 2016. February! Mid-February. Yeah, we'll be working on the official video soon. We've got a lot going on, but we keep, we're going to have an Etronic official video right on. coming out soon. Well, thank you very much, Tom. All right. Thank, thank you, you, Brian. Have a great day. You too.